Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess. The goddess next door takes on the threat of a deadly digital diva driven to destroy the world in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess featuring a bonus pin-up and the other two books in the Cyber Goddess saga at online bookstores everywhere today. The publishers of the Damsel from Distress comic were finally able to release the third issue of the series in late October. Unfortunately, I have been busy making videos, doing live streams, and making video requests that I haven't had time to put together a review for Damsel from Distress number three. Now, your Damsel from Distress number three continues the storyline that was a part of issue number two, which left us with a big cliffhanger, which says that Beck and her team are going wraith hunting. Now, this one had me eager to see the third issue, and this third issue, it just continues the storyline and has you eager to read the fourth issue that's coming up in an upcoming Kickstarter, I believe, with the fifth and sixth issue. Now, this third issue has the team going undercover as they're going before they do some wraith hunting. And as they're going undercover, we see how fabulous your Beck looks in a dress as she's going to this medieval ball. Now, as she's undercover at this medieval ball with her himbo, so-called prince or white knight, and the I think it is um, or Ogre or Elf um, that they have sent her with because the king wanted her to have one of their people on the team so they could find the princess. We see that your Beck has good diplomatic skills and knows how to work a room for information. And she also knows how to work a room to create diversions so that she can go undercover and try to get more information upstairs at the palace. So as things are going on, your Beck flirts with the guy and then slips upstairs to the guy's room and we get a fantastic sequence on, I believe the, let me see how many pages this is. Let's see, you got one, two, three, four, five, six pages. We see Beck chant and then all of a sudden, that fabulous evening gown turns into a great stealth costume. So I really love this sequence where your Beck changes her fabulous evening gown into a stealth costume. And this is something I could easily see being part of an animated series or a part of a movie. It's just very, a very well done sequence and would be something I would love to see in a, in a again, in a movie or an animated series. And we see your Beck going inside, look, looking to get information as related to the wraiths. And this whole sequence, it just really starts to pop because we see that great mix of humor and action that really reminds me of old 1960s series like The Man from Uncle and Get Smart. And I love that fusion of your medieval action and adventure with a little bit of that 60s spy satire. Just very well done sequences here as related to Damsel from Distress. And I like the way she changed, again, from the costume and now the magical powder to take the guards out and get the information as related to the wraiths. And as we start to see more of, the, of her going into this manner, we start to see that there are some hints to your Beck's past with this whole symbol of the rune stone, which further delves deeper into the mystery as related to the disappearance of Beck's mother and also deals with the further conflicts as related to the wraiths and how it ties to the princess. So we get some um, further clues as related to the ongoing mystery in this story and the plot points really continue to build up in this comic. Now, I don't really want to give away too much of Damsel from Distress number three because I know how hard the creators worked on this comic, and I want readers to go out here and pick up these three issues of Damsel from Distress so that they can go out here and experience this fantastic comic. So 
that's why I'm not going to further scroll down and spoil the comic for readers. I don't want to take away from your experience from Damsel from Distress, but I'll say this, this is one of the best comics of 2021. It is extremely well done. And this third issue, while it ends on a cliffhanger, it has you eager to read more. And I'm eager to definitely put in a pledge for the Kickstarter for the possible fourth, fifth, and sixth issues because I want to read more of this story. I love these characters and I love seeing more of this world, which is a mix of Disney princesses. And it has that sharp, witty humor of shows like Get Smart and The Man from Uncle, just extremely well done and well executed. And we get a strong heroine with some rich layers and depth and complexity. So I really love everything about this series. And I definitely recommend you pick up Damsel from Distress number three, because this book will give you a lot of joy as you read this book. So I definitely want to see more readers pick up this book on the Kickstarter the next time the creators launch it, because this is the kind of comic that really, it gives you a strong heroine, a rich multidimensional character, rich dimensional characters, and gives us a fresh take on the world of medieval sword and sorcery and does a great job of taking us into a whole new world that I could easily see being turned into an animated series or a live action movie. That's how well done this series is. And you definitely won't be disappointed by Damsel from Distress. You definitely want to pick up this, this, this series and you definitely want to continue this series. I highly recommend you go out here and get it because this is great comic storytelling and some of the best comics I have seen this year so far. Now, my first comic, E-Steam No Good Deed, is available on Kindle for 99 cents. And you can get that book over on Amazon.com by clicking the link in the description box. And my upcoming comic, John Haynes at Death's Door, will be coming to Kickstarter soon. Antonio Balderi is two-thirds finished with the art. And once I get the art finished, we will be going to lettering. And then after I get to lettering, then the book will be launched on Kickstarter. But until then, you can pick up Action Packed Fantasy on the SJS Direct imprint, like the Isis series, the E-Steam series, the John Haynes series, and books like The Temptation of John Haynes and The Man Who Rules the World, along with the books of the Spinsterella trilogy. You can find all those books on paperback and Kindle format on Amazon.com. And you can also find them on digital platforms like Smashwords, the iBook Store, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.